Looking for the best B650 and B650E motherboard for your next Ryzen build? Stick around, because today, we're breaking down the top picks from budget-friendly to premium, so you can choose the perfect match for your setup. Let's kick things off with the tough gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi from ASUS. This board lands at the bottom of our ranking, not because it's bad, but because it's more of an entry-level option compared to the rest. It's designed for gamers and builders who want solid reliability without breaking the bank. This motherboard comes with PCIe 5 for storage, but not for your graphics card. So while your next-gen SSDs fly, your GPU will stay on PCIe 4 speeds. Memory support is decent, going up to DDR5 6400+, and there's a solid network combo of Wi-Fi 6 and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. You've also got good USB connectivity with plenty of Type-A and Type-C ports. Now the downsides. The audio solution uses Realtek ALC897 codec, which is mid-range at best, especially if you care about premium sound for music or content creation. Plus, compared to the pricier models, you're missing features like Wi-Fi 6E, higher RAM speeds, and PCI 5 for GPUs. If you're on a budget and building a mainstream gaming rig, this board makes sense. It's affordable, it's durable, and it'll get the job done for most users. Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in picking up any of the motherboards from today's video at the best price, check out the links in the description below. Next up is the MSI Mag B650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. This board steps things up a notch ranking just above the tough board thanks to better overall power delivery and faster memory support. If you're looking for a stable platform for high-performance Ryzen CPUs, this one's worth a look. The Tomahawk doesn't have PCI 5, so both the GPU and storage slots run at PCI 4 speeds. But it makes up for that with excellent VRMs, 14 plus 2 plus 1 phases rated at 80 amps each. This is one of the most stable motherboards for overclocking at this price point. It also offers Wi-Fi 6E, better onboard audio with the Realtek ALC4080, and a well-thought-out thermal design. On the flip side, you don't get PCI 5 support here, which might be a deal-breaker for anyone who wants to future-proof their build. Also, while the cooling is solid, one of the three M2 slots doesn't have a heatsink, which could be an issue for high-performance SSDs. If you're building a high-performance Ryzen system but don't necessarily need PCI 5, this board hits the sweet spot between features and price. And hey, if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more honest PC hardware reviews. Moving on, we have the Aorus Elite AX Ice from Gigabyte. This board is where style meets solid performance. Its standout feature is definitely the eye-catching white design, but it also brings serious hardware to the table. Unlike the Tomahawk, the Aorus Elite AX Ice includes PCIe 5 support for both your graphics card and primary M2 slot. It handles DDR5 up to 8000 plus speeds, making it a good fit for memory overclocking enthusiasts. Plus, you're getting Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3, which is great for connectivity. However, the onboard audio is again the Realtek ALC897, which doesn't match the sound quality of some competitors. Also, while it offers PCI 5 for storage, it's limited to the CPU lanes, so you won't get multiple Gen 5 SSDs like on a full X670E board. If you want a great mix of looks, performance, and future-proofing without breaking into the premium category, this is a solid mid-tier option. Next in line is the B650E version of the Aorus Elite X AX Ice. Think of it as the fully loaded version of the previous Gigabyte board. It ranks just above it because of the upgraded chipset and a few extra features that push it closer to premium territory. You're getting PCIe 5 for both graphics and storage, just like the previous model. But here, you also get Gigabyte's enhanced VRM cooling system with a beefier heat pipe setup. Memory support goes up to DDR5 8000+, plus, and the board is packed with USB connectivity, including a rear USB-C port with blazing 40 gigabit speeds. The downsides? Once again, the onboard audio uses Realtek's ALC897 codec, which is just okay. For gamers, it won't be a huge issue, but content creators or audiophiles might want an external sound card. This board is perfect if you want near-flagship features but don't need the expense of an X670E board. It's great for high-end gaming builds that want a balance of power and aesthetics. Finally, at the top of our list, we have the ROG Strix B650EF Gaming Wi-Fi from ASUS. This board is the best of the bunch, combining top-tier hardware with a polished design that screams premium. It's got PCIe 5 support across both the GPU and M2 storage, but where it really shines is the VRM. 12 plus 2 phases rated at a whopping 80 amps each. That means rock-solid power delivery even for the highest-end Ryzen CPUs. You also get ASUS's premium audio solution, with the Realtek ALC4080 codec plus a dedicated amplifier for better sound. As for drawbacks, there aren't many. It's on the pricier side sitting near the top of the B650 range, and while memory support is excellent, running four sticks at the high speeds can sometimes be tricky. If you want the best features, the best cooling, and the best audio, this is the board to get. 
It's made for gamers and builders who want no compromises. All the products we talked about today are linked in the description below, so check those out for the latest prices. If you found this review helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more PC hardware content coming your way.